Well, the first time I had cuffs on me was maybe like 97. But the first it time was, you got it was like over fighting and stuff like that. But the first time you you got locked up that you man, and I know I wasn't coming yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was ninety nine. Ninety nine. I know I wasn't coming home. And and you got what? What you got back with? I got what? back with twelve. I think it was like twelve. It was like I think like twenty hats of cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's equivalent to fucking almost a kilo of crack. Like they look at it, it's not close comparison in weight. Yeah. But that's how they look at it. They look like they and you was crack cocaine. And you was how old? <clears throat> Like 18, 17, or something? Yeah, yeah, around there. I was around in there. So I was already with the adults. At 16, you were with the adults. You was with the adults already. So, like, so, you, so, so you got bagged and then what? No, I got bagged. Just like, I don't know if you ever seen, or if you seen, you seen organic, the way I'm walking out there. Yeah, yeah. It was in that same building. Yeah. Just like that, man. Wow. I'm walking out just like that, except it was three cops. But the niggas, the niggas searched me. They went in my pants. They really violated me. But, you know, at that time, like, I'm just... I was just fighting them off. I wasn't even thinking about, oh, you're doing the wrong procedure to arrest me. So I got caught up in that. That was a real heartbreaker right there. Because right there, I just, had some, I just got some lost some money. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was only like 20 hands of cocaine, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I knew then and there that I wasn't going to come out. I knew I was going to go do a bit. So, fuck. so I was laying up for a minute, not taking no offer. They first offered me uh, one or three. They first offered me. Flat, and they went down to a bully. A bully quit the, the year. A year is equivalent to nine months. So they gave me a year, so I did nine months. I came out December 6th, 1999. I went in the first, no, I went in December of 98, and I came out December 6th of 99. So I did, uh, I did like 10 months almost. That bed, that bed was the strangest bed ever, cause that wasn't the sixth building. That was like that's like the weak building. That's like anything under a year. That's like people ain't really popping off unless you a dumbass nigga. Like you ain't doing like a year here. No, maybe you might be doing two years, cause you get two bullets running yeah. concurrent. So you have to you, know, you have to do another one. Shit, so, but other than that, I seen, I seen, I seen like the shit I seen. It was strange. Like I seen. Which was ninety nine. You told me. I seen, yo, I seen fucking, I seen Shine locked up, I seen Black Rob locked up, I seen niggas managers locked up, I seen fucking homos get married in there, like it wasn't even legal in the United States, yo, but it was legal in jail, my nigga. That's crazy. Now, that's how I think about it now, I'm like, yo, this shit, how this shit is legal, like, and the CEOs respected it, it was like, so a gang, I'm not gonna mention what gang it is, but it was a gang, and like, it was, they let it happen. Saying like, what's the meaning of being a gang? Like, and this is all in the sixth building. I need to store rice and all that. It was with a fucking like some he shit like fucking J Lo, my nigga. You see shit like J Lo, if you you know it's a dude because we locked up together, nigga. That's my nigga. We locked up, but if you don't know you, if you're not there, my nigga. You be like, I just seen everything in the world. I just seen everything. Like, I was like, yeah, this is crazy. Top of that, the whatever was cut. The whatever do marry was coming out. So dude, the it came to visit the dude while he was still locked up, and nobody knew that that was the dude he married, the 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 he she whatever. Mm -hmm. That so she's in the she she it's in the fucking visit visit floor visiting the nigga, and nobody knew. Only the people that was there since that time locked mm -hmm. up knew, and I was like, la vaina que <laughs> yo, and it's like a woman. And some of the CEOs didn't even know. They're like, I'm like. It's crazy. crazy, so I seen all that shit. I seen niggas during that one bed. Yeah, but how how was it though? Like when you when you went in that you you know what I mean? How long it took you to get like used to like 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 the sleeping and 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 the, all that shit? Like a month, to tell you the truth, like a month, cause the first wherever they move you to, the first two weeks is the worst. So they keep moving you around until they find your spot. The first two weeks, like I said, starts off in the tombs. You're there for like maybe two, three weeks, but those two, three weeks, and so hey, going to the nurse, checking if you got this, do, um, doing this paperwork, waking up at six to go to another place, then going to see for a few, then doing it again, going somewhere else. It's like nonstop for two mm. weeks. You're going here, getting registered in jail because now you, now you do their property, so you gotta get every type of register that it is that they gotta do. It. You gotta see counselors, you gotta see everybody, like. For the first two weeks of anything, so then they move you, you stay in the tombs, but I doubt it, if you're working, you might 
Yes, la misma, el mismo proceso. Oh, the same shit you got to do again on the island. Tres semanas to get adjusted again. Where you're going to stay. At first you get there, it's a fucking bullpen. First you get from the tombs bullpen, you got to wait like maybe, you waiting like eight hours. They wake you up at 4.30 in the morning. The bus is leaving at 11, 11, 11 in the morning. It's leaving. Mm -hmm. it's leaving. But they wake you up at 4.30 in the morning to be in the bullpens at 6. To wait there for four hours with like 45 niggas, my nigga. This shit right here, 45 niggas. Right here, get it. 45 niggas, B. Just waiting to get transferred and shit? Yeah, yeah, everybody's going to the same place, my nigga. Okay, this shit works like that. They take it by the load like we fucking animals, my nigga. So it's like everybody's around. You got crackheads, you got bums, you got niggas with AIDS, you got niggas coughing with... With, with hepatitis, you got people, dope heads, you, you're all in the same place, everybody's beating the same shit, my nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is what, this is the, that's the downfall of all that shit, my nigga. Like, you there with fucking, with animals, my nigga. You there with rapists, you there with niggas that got raped, you there with motherfuckers that beat women, you there with, with serial killers, you there with fucking child molesters, you there with fucking everything, my nigga, drug dealers, pimps, you there with everything, my nigga, you got fucking trannies next to you, this shit is crazy, my nigga, there's a jungle in there, my nigga, so it's like, on you, so this is what you, you frustrated, see how I'm getting frustrated, yeah. talking about this, how you be in there, but you can't, I can't talk it like this, there's 45 niggas talking like that, my nigga, everybody, ah, the phone, there's probably one phone, niggas, like, yeah, I can't hit my girl, can't fuck you, <laughs> Niggas getting snuffed, the phone's off the hood, y'all nobody could use the phone, y'all don't want to talk y'all, it's hot, niggas throwing bologna sandwiches, smell like shit, <laughs> niggas just shitting on themselves, you got bums pissing on themselves, like, this shit is disgusting. So and that's just, that's just on the way to <laughs> That's just not even getting on the bus yet, my nigga. That's crazy. So now you get on the bus, now, your luck is to be handcuffed with a, because they handcuff you by two. Mm -hmm. You're lucky if y'all like shackle you with a cracker. See, I don't know. I've been shackled next to bums before. Que yo hecho un desastre para no subir con según. Para no de mí, my nigga. Because y'all, yeah, all right from downtown Manhattan to Queens, they make it into this 24-hour trip, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Right there, just over the bridge, my nigga. Like, it's like a 24-hour trip, so... Ya tú sabes la hora que te levantaste, 4.30 in the morning, when you're leaving the tombs after all that process. Getting into the tube, getting into the cells to go get on the bus. Now you're on the bus, you might be shacked with a nigga with the monster, my nigga, that decides to cut himself. And you got an open wound, you got to deal with it. How you gonna explain that shit when you get home? Shit like that, people don't realize that you're exposed to. So yeah, you're on the bus, now the seats may be harder than the floor, sitting on them, my nigga's fucking brick, they don't give a fuck, they leaving the window open. Be cold, my nigga. So boom, shit is bumpy. You shot me next to some nigga B for another two hours. This is going from Manhattan downtown to Queens, just right over the bridge, my nigga. So, boom. Now, to get into Rikers, now they gotta wait for clearance. It might be count time. Some una pelea. Now we outside, still on the bus. You next to a fucking tiro macua mierda. That you yourself haven't taken a shower for two days. Yeah. Let's say, or maybe a day, because you just move, they moving you. Yeah, yeah. This nigga been on the streets for months without taking a chance. So you next to crap, you next to some nasty shit. So now you gotta wait sometimes to get into the island. So now you get into the island, you wait to go into another cell, but you still handcuffing the fucking car. So now I start doing alphabetical order. My last name started with an A, so I was always first. So that was the only good shit that sometimes I call it every day I go first. So boom, you get to that. Then you gotta, then you, they, they bring you in. Couple by couple. You're like, no, not like. And how long is that process? When, how long is that process? Three is four thirty. We wake up at four thirty in the morning. That's the whole process to get to this shit. So we get to before we get to the now. Now we on the bus. We get into the island. Now we get off the bus to go into another cell. Mm -hmm. Just to get into the other cell. That's another half an hour, forty five minutes standing there handcuffed next to some nigga because they gotta take the paperwork in. They gotta check everybody's shit. Ask everybody a question, your birthday, and all that. Ah, you just have it. 60 niggas, 45, 50 niggas. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta go into the cell, one by a couple by couple. They take the handcuffs off. So now they take it to another cell where you just left from five hours ago to wait to go to now, get a bed in the island to get to a dorm. 
So now we in that stuff.